ever live, I'm always going to be a Clevelander at heart. Cleveland's been on a streak. We got the belt in the UFC heavyweight division with Stipe, the NBA championship with the Cavs, and then the Indians went on a 14-game run. So uh, I think it's a, it's a good time to be a Clevelander. Sacramento is it's similar just because it's so agricultural and it's not really the hustle and bustle of like LA would be or like what people think California is all about. There's a friendlier vibe from the Midwest than you get on the West Coast no matter what city you're in. Right now we're going to NorCal Hyperbarics. It's a hyperbaric chamber therapy. I've been doing this since my last fight and it's just a great way to heal up. It helps heal the body up from any injuries that I get in sparring or that I've had lingering. What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? 100% cotton so I don't blow up. Hey, Feel good. Uh, NBC Sports Network. Once I go in, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right now, Lance is in a pressurized chamber with 100% oxygen. Um, why we pressurize it is because it actually makes your fluids go to your extremities. It actually forces oxygen into places where it usually cannot reach. In normal air, you only get about 20% oxygen and the rest is junk. It can help him promote healing. It's also good to help him build tissues, brain cells. You get more red blood cells, more white blood cells. It's just good for overall healing. He's about to do 60 minutes at pressure. It takes him about 10 minutes to get to and from pressure, so he gets about 75 minutes total. Right after this, I feel good, but then I get tired a little bit. Your body's just trying to heal and relax the rest of the day. It's all good. It all helps. Stud Nation knows them. They have a four-time state champion, four-time All-American, World Series of Fighting champion, going to be a two-time champion. You know him as the party. Let it! For what people don't, what maybe not know what you hear. So there's a documentary out there. You can buy it on Amazon or get it anywhere. Buy it on Amazon. Don't be some cheap skater. Or go to the website and buy it, okay? Pinnedmovie.com. Pinned, so it is. I got to say it's probably my favorite wrestling movie. It was more about high school wrestling and basically the, 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 the stratification between a good school and a shit dog school. And they took a... Uh, and Lance was the focal point of that to represent the good school. As far as documentaries go, phenomenal documentary. One yeah. of the there's a few good wrestling documentaries out there. Penn's awesome because Pen, Lance is in it. We're fighting in Everett, Washington. We're getting a rematch from the guy that was the most ridiculous decision in MMA history. But the key word is decision. You don't want to let it go to decision you, no matter you, what. You don't. So you're coming up. How are you feeling? What's the game plan going in? What are we looking like for this fight? Honestly, I feel great. Everybody like says this is the best I've ever felt, like yeah. all this and that. But like, I've felt great for camps before. But this is just like the the best structure that we've had in a long time. This is this is a whole new fight. It doesn't matter if it's the same opponent or a different opponent. Uh -huh. It's a better version of myself than the last fight. Biggest lesson we learned in this thing is if he doesn't mind going to the ground and you yeah, take him there every time and then just beat the tar out of him. See right there, I should have kept that foot in for the mount. I mean, regardless of what the, the commentary is or what the result was, it's in the past. We're learning a little bit here, but it's nothing but forward from here on out. Is there anything you wish somebody would have told you back then that you would tell Lance now? Anything? 